Good morning and welcome to our online meeting on Sunday the 21st of March 2021. Today is our Young People's Annual, a day when we celebrate and thank God for all the young people who come under our care. We are blessed to have a number of children who attend Bristol Eastern Salvation Army. From our primary, Sunday school, say and our brass learners. They are going to take part in our meeting today in various ways and we hope that you will be blessed and encouraged by all they bring to us. As I was preparing this meeting earlier in the week, I read a quote by Dorothy Law Nolte. I'm sure it's one that some of you will have heard or read before, but I think it's worth repeating as we think about our children today. She said this, If a child lives with criticism, he learns to condemn. If a child lives with hostility, she learns to fight. If a child lives with ridicule, he learns to be shy. If a child lives with shame, she learns to feel guilty. If a child lives with tolerance, he learns to be patient. If a child lives with encouragement, she learns confidence. If a child lives with praise, he learns to appreciate. If a child lives with fairness, she learns justice. If a child lives with security, he learns to have faith. If a child lives with approval, she learns to like herself. If a child lives with acceptance and friendship, he learns to find love in the world. How we choose to act around children, whether that be our own children, grandchildren, godchildren, or the children who attend our church. This has an impact on the people they grow up to be. We need to be good examples to them in all the ways above, but also in how we follow the example of Jesus in our own lives. Our children watch us and see how we behave, so let us ensure we are teaching them in God's ways. Well, we're going to turn to our first song and we're going to sing together this morning, Made in the Likeness of God. The third verse says, You have given me a place to be, made in the likeness of God. Only angels are ahead of me, made in the likeness of God. As we praise God this morning, let us also give thanks because we are made in his image and we can call ourselves his children. Thank you. 
songster item today we're going to listen to the international staff songsters sing one of the songs from Ray Stedman Allen's childhood suite the song we've chosen is Jesus loves me this I know so listen and be blessed as the staff songsters sing for us this morning
light of Christ, light a fire of love in our hearts, love to our family and our friends, love to our neighbours and to the stranger, love to our community and all humanity, love for all creation and to each creature. Let that love burn and never be extinguished. Let it flame out and bring warmth to others. Light and love of Christ, you brighten our dark days. You warm our cold hearts. You burn away all hatred. You enlighten and protect us. Light of Christ, light a fire of love in our hearts. Amen. Lord, today we pray for Anthony Masson's mother and father-in-law, John and Joan Steer. They're both far from well and cause for concern for the family. We pray for healing. Lord, and we do indeed pray for anybody known to us who is suffering from ill health, whether of body, mind or spirit. Lord, be all they need just now. Lord, we continue to give you thanks and praise for the effectiveness of the vaccine in our country, but we recognise the need around the world and we pray that the vaccine will be made available to all who need it. And Lord, as today is our YP annual, we pray for each child connected with our Salvation Army here at Bristol Eastern. We pray that in their young lives you will be a living reality, that they will grow stronger knowing that you are their Lord and Saviour. Lord, bless their parents as they work so hard to bring them up in the knowledge of you. And Father God, we would pray for all those who work with our children. It's never an easy job. And we pray that you'll give them all the stamina, patience and encouragement that they need to do this vital work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Our Bible reading today is taken from 1 John chapter 3 and verses 1 to 3 and is going to be read by Andrea. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 See how much the Father has loved us. His love is so great that we are called God's children and so in fact we are. This is why the world does not know us. It has not known God. My dear friends, we are now God's children, but it is not clear what we shall become. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Everyone who has this hope in Christ keeps himself pure, just as Christ is pure. The band are going to play an arrangement of the song, I Will Follow Him. Made famous in more recent years in the film Sister Act, starring Whoopi Goldberg. The song was written as a secular song, but as Christians we can listen to this song and recognise that the hymn is God and that following him is the best thing that we can do.
playing him to joy by Beethoven. playing cuckoo. chosen is still hide me under your wing because it lets you know that God is with you.
My gold, gold is, is so big, so strong and so mighty, mighty there's nothing that you cannot do. My gold is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that you cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. <laughs> My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Almighty, there's nothing that he We have a great treat for you today. Our singing company have recorded a song for us virtually, so we will be able to see them as well as listen to them. I know we're all going to enjoy as a singing company sing for us this morning, Building Up the Army. Yeah. 
A Sunday school teacher asked her class to draw a picture of their favourite Old Testament story. And as she moved around the class, she saw there were many wonderful drawings being done. Then she came across Johnny, who had drawn an old man driving a car. In the back seat were two passengers, both apparently naked. It's a lovely picture, said the teacher, but which story does it tell? Johnny seemed surprised at the question. Doesn't it say in the Bible that God drove Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden? And so although the principle of that story is true, God did not drive Adam and Eve out of Eden in a car. Adam and Eve had disobeyed God and so had to face the consequences of their choices. Yet, even though they had to leave the garden, God ensured they had everything they needed. He clothed them and enabled them to survive. Their lives would now be very hard, but this did not mean that God no longer loved them. We all know, from the youngest of us to the oldest of us, that the actions we take often have consequences which are part of our learning. The Bible is God's love letter to his people. It is a letter which culminates in the coming of Jesus into the world. We all know that Good Friday and Easter Sunday are approaching with all that those days represent, especially reminding us once again of the great love that God our Father has for you and for me. From our Bible reading this morning, John says that God has lavished his love on us. What a wonderful word that is, lavished. The Cambridge Dictionary meaning of this word says, large in quantity and expensive or impressive. This is the love that God has for each one of us. In fact, this love he has for us is so vast that when we choose to follow him, he calls us his children. You are a child of God. I am a child of God. Think for a moment how much your mum, your dad loves you and times that by the biggest number you know. And even that won't resemble how much God loves you. Today is our YP annual, a day when we here at Bristol Easton want to recognise and celebrate all the young people who come under our care. We want you to know how much we love and appreciate each one of you. But much more than that, we want you to know how much God loves and appreciates you. Far more than we ever could. And the wonder of God's love is that it never ends. As a grown-up, I am still a child of God. His love for me is unfailing and I have proved this time and time again. We have chosen to show you our love by giving you a book token so that you can choose a book you really want to read. God showed his love by sending us his one and only son, Jesus, to take on his shoulders all the wrong things we have done and will continue to do. So that now, when we ask for forgiveness for the horrible things we do or say, and we mean it, God will forgive us. If you don't remember anything else from what I say today, remember that God loves you and he calls you his child. 
something that we also need to be reminded of. Is that because of God's love, because we are his children, we need to behave like it. We need to try and be more like Jesus every day. In our Bible reading, John says that when Jesus appears, we shall be like him. But we cannot wait until that day. We need to try our very best to be like Jesus now. It's hard sometimes, especially when you are young. But we need to try really hard every single day to be more and more like Jesus. We need to be kind to others, even though they may not always be kind to us. We need to stand up for those who are bullied, even if that means the attention may fall upon us. We need to befriend those who have no friends, even if they are different in some way to us. If we ask him, God will give us the courage to do all of these things. There is a story told about two little boys who attended Sunday school for the first time. The teacher in charge needed to take their details so they could be enrolled. The bolder of the boys told her, we are both seven. My birthday is April the 8th, 2013. My brother's birthday is April the 23rd, 2013. The teacher remarked, but that's impossible. The quieter boy replied, no, it's not. You see, one of us is adopted. Before she could stop herself, the teacher asked, which one? The first boy said, our dad said when we asked that he couldn't remember and that it wasn't important. He loves us both exactly the same. In the same way, we have been adopted into God's family. But God does not look upon us any differently than he looks upon his true son, Jesus. We have all the same benefits as Jesus. We are heirs to the kingdom of God. God's love for us is as deep and wide as the love he has for his son. How fortunate are we to know this love. May we, in everything we do, be prepared to share with others this amazing love that God offers so freely, so unconditionally. It does not matter who you are or where you are from. If you choose to believe, if you repent of all the wrong things you have done, then God will claim you as his beloved child. Let us spread this message far and wide, from the youngest of us to the oldest of us. We all have a part to play in ensuring that God's family continues to grow. May God bless us in all our endeavours for his kingdom. We're almost at the end of our meeting. We hope you have been blessed by all our young people have shared with us today. I hope also that like me, you can't wait until we will see them face to face in our meetings once again. We're going to conclude our meeting by singing, Shine, Jesus, Shine. As we all, young and old, strive every day to be more like Jesus, mirroring his life by the way we live ours. So may God be with each one of us in the days that lie ahead.